Hey y'all and welcome back to the Pendry Home or welcome if you are new here. My name is Lakin and welcome back to the 12 days of cleaning. So for today's video, we are going to be tackling my closet and also the dresser and getting rid of clothes, reorganizing and digging into these dresser drawers as well. So I'm going to show y'all an overview of what we're working with. It is a complete disaster. I have not went through my clothes since way before I got pregnant because I realized that when I was pregnant there was no point in cleaning my closet like I try to do every single year. And so now that I am almost nine months postpartum, because Joe Dallas will be turning nine months on March 18th, which when you see this guy, when you see this video, he will already be nine months old, more than likely. Um, it is time to tackle this closet. So what better time to do it than during the 12 days of cleaning? So I'm going to flip you guys around, show you what we're working with here. Like I said, it is a complete disaster. And then we're going to get rolling and decluttering, reorganizing and cleaning this place up. All right, y'all, so when you walk into my closet, this is what it looks like. Normally, the stuff ladder isn't out, but I actually had to get up and get that box down this morning for Houston. So that's the only reason the step ladder is out, but I'm gonna end up needing to use it anyway because I need to go through all of this stuff up here too. But this is all of my clothes and they used to be color coordinated until like the last two weeks when I knew I was gonna be in here um, decluttering and reorganizing everything. And then I was like, there is no point in me even trying because like the hangers won't even hang properly or anything so i just started throwing stuff everywhere um so these are like all my tops and then my dresses and then like my skirts are supposed to be back there and then this side is houston's which again it used to be organized but it's not and then this section right here is supposed to be like all of our outerwear but it's not anymore so this is like mine and houston's combined but anywho so that's kind of that then we have a clothing rack which this wasn't in here the last time I did a closet declutter and organize. Um, and this is supposed to have all of Houston's like dress clothes, like suits and dress shirts and all of that and dress pants, but it actually holds more than that. I think there's some stuff on here that shouldn't be on here. And I know he has some dress shirts and dress pants over on this side of the closet as well. And then down here is just crazy like there's a shirt that I couldn't get fit back up in there this morning when I was trying to find something to wear so I just put it right there um this is a basket of hangers there is shoes galore this is also where I keep our vacuum cleaner is in here again more shoes boxes and then down here is pregnancy pillows suitcases pants purses like all kinds of stuff there is our fan and then back here again, it's just more things and another like dresser, another dresser that I need to go through. So it is absolutely just crazy. Like there's just stuff everywhere. So, and then of course we have this dresser as well. And I want to go ahead and get into this too. So that is going to be the project for today. Um, and hopefully we can get it all done. Joe Dallas has been asleep for a little while, but if I don't, he can actually be awake when I'm doing this because he loves to play in the closet anyway. And so it'll be fine. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump in and start decluttering and organizing. I am so excited to do this. I have been wanting to do this for so long, but obviously I wanted to wait for the 12 days of cleaning when I started this series. And then I also wanted to wait obviously to film for y'all and everything so i'm really excited so let's get into it i watch you as you dry do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along I 
I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can't always stay here forever today's Bible reading, we are going to be talking about the fourth characteristic of the Proverbs 31 woman, which is that she takes care of herself physically, mentally, and spiritually. And so she is very um, strict about her health, and we are instructed in the Bible to actually take care of our body. I mean, after all, the Lord did give us this body, so we should take care of it. Um, so that includes eating nourishing food, to move our bodies, to make sure we're getting en enough water, but also our spiritual health, to study God's Word, to pray. Um, and then our mental health is to dwell on the good and keep a positive mindset. Um, and we also need to set healthy boundaries in relationships. That includes um, friendships and um, with family. And then also, like I said, our prayer life. So a few verses that can go along with this are in 1 Corinthians chapter number 6 and verse 19 through 20. And it says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are brought, bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. And then in Genesis chapter number one and verse 29, it says, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And then verses that go along with this in Proverbs chapter number 31 are um, verse 14 through 15. And verse number 14 in Proverbs chapter number 31 says, She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. And 15, She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. And then in verse number 17, it says, She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. So this means that she's waking up early in the morning um, and she is 
um, making nourishing food for herself and for her family. Um, and it says that she also um, makes a portion for her maidens as well. And then in 17, she girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. So she is making sure to be physically strong um, as well. And of course, you know, a Proverbs 31 woman is going to be spiritually strong um, and she's going to keep her mental health strong as well too. So this is just a very great reminder, you know, if you're kind of in a rut about your physical health or maybe your mental, spiritual health, you know, to strive to be a Proverbs 31 woman, you need to take care of yourself in all of these aspects of life. Physically be strong for your family. Um, and to physically be strong, you have to nourish your body well. Um, in fact, nourishment and eating the right foods is 80, I would even say almost 80 to 90% of what you should be doing regardless to movement. If you're nourishing your body well, you're physically going to be well. Um, and then the next 20 to 10% should be of movement. But if you are working in your household daily and you're doing all of the house things that you're supposed to be doing, that is movement. And that's going to keep you physically healthy as well, just working in your home um, and working with willing hands. And then obviously your spiritual health, making sure you keep that prayer life, making sure you keep that relationship with the Lord, reading your Bible, going to church, um, and you know, just staying strong in your faith and then your mental health, making sure that you surround yourself with like-minded people that are going to uplift and encourage you. Um, and they're not going to bring you down ones that don't gossip ones that don't, you know, are not self-centered. You know, they're just always talking about negative things, like just being negative all the time. We just, we need to, you know, try to stay away from that and try to keep these positive mindsets. And, you know, if you are being physically healthy and spiritually healthy, then your mental health will just kind of follow as well. been putting off cleaning out your closet and then go ahead and get started and clean out your closet with me i also do recommend color coordinating your clothes i think it's very helpful it allows for you to see 
the colors that you do have, what you have more of, what you may want to buy. Um, I think it's always fun to do a little closet refresh. I love fashion. As y'all see, if you've been watching my shorts, I absolutely love fashion. I love getting dressed. I love um, dressing up or even doing like a casual look. I just I love fashion so much. I've always loved jewelry. I've always loved clothes and shoes. I am a very girly girl, um, but I also am not afraid to get my hands dirty at all. Um, but I think it's it's nice to have that color coordination so that way you're able to see, you know, oh, I might want to purchase something more of this color. And then when you're out shopping or maybe you're shopping online, you can really see like, oh, I don't have much of this color. Maybe this is what I should purchase. So like in my wardrobe, I actually do not have a lot of purple. I didn't have a lot of yellow. And so I'm like, mm, those are things that I could, you know, purchase more of is maybe some more purple, maybe some more yellow, um, and maybe some more green. You know, I have a lot of red, I have a lot of orange. Um, and so it just kind of helps you see like, oh, those, those are maybe some different things that I can buy just one or two pieces and it can really just switch up, just give you a little refresh. You don't have to um, buy a ton of things, but it's always fun to just kind of clean out that closet donate clothes and then be able to refresh some as well. So since we are here in the closet and we were talking about clothes and fashion, I also wanted to mention to y'all, if you have not seen already, that I am now an LTK creator. So if you download the LTK app or the Like to Know It app, um, then you can follow my profile, which is Lakin underscore Pendry, and you can find all of my fashion and all my styling inspiration, and you can even shop straight from my post. Um, you can find exact items or similar items. It is a 100% safe shopping experience, and if you're not ready to purchase something that you see that you might like, you can save it to your profile, which then they will allow tell you if it is goes out of stock. They will tell you if there, there is a price drop. If something goes on sale, they will notify you and let you know, um, which is really great, but it is an awesome shopping experience. So if there's ever any kind of outfits that you see that you like from my short videos, or maybe you follow me on Instagram, then you can go to my like to know it or LTK and you can shop directly. I can also add home items. So anything that you ever see that, um, you might want to know where it's from or where you can purchase it. Always ask me and then I'll let you know if it is on my LTK. Um, I'm still waiting to get approved from Amazon, but then Amazon purchases can also go to the LTK app. But Or you can shop my Amazon storefront as always. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much that because of you is the reason that I am able to be an LTK creator. Um, they don't just accept anybody. And I'm just so grateful for y'all in this community because you have allowed me to become an LTK creator. I'm so excited about it. Um, and I'm excited that now I can easily share any items that you may be asking about or maybe wanting to look into to purchase yourself. It's just an easy shopping experience. You can find my link um, in my bio here on YouTube. You can also, again, if you have the app already, my username is Lakin underscore Pendry. And if you are not already on the LTK app, then you can download the LTK app. It is for iOS and Android um, users. Just download the LTK app. If you just search it in your app engine, it will um, come up create your profile and you can follow me and you can also follow a ton of other creators. There is so much to be shown on there. It's a fun little app, like a shopping app, like I said, and then you can shop any kind of items that I post on there. So super excited about that. Just wanted to throw that out there. If you follow me on Instagram, it's also the link is in my bio, but wanted to let you guys know about that. I know there was a few asking if I had an LTK and I do now have one. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever So I can hold you in my arms 
I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scatter monsters under your bed. Deep and abiding, liking for you is all I need. Until my heart gives in, I will do everything I can for you. So y'all will see that to do the dresser, it was actually the next day because it got so late the night that I was doing the closet because it was just such a big job. And then also we had, I had stopped to go vote. Um, that's when early voting was available. And so me and Houston went to go vote as well. Um, and so I did the dresser and the like uh, chest of drawers in our closet the next day, got it all straightened up and organized. Um, also decluttered a lot of things out of it as well. And I always fold our clothes KonMari style. I think it's just a great space saver. Um, it just allows for so much more room and for you to be able to honestly just get more items into a smaller space. Um, it's just something that I've been doing, I guess, since 2020. 2021, I guess, is when I started folding our clothes KonMari style. And now I'm just in the habit of doing it um, where I just really fold them very compactly. I will say that it also helps a lot with wrinkling if you fold them this way, but it does not take me long to fold our clothes like that anymore. I feel like when I first started doing it, it was a lot different and it obviously took a little lot a little bit longer until I kind of got in the rhythm of folding our clothes and into the habit of folding our clothes the way that I do. But now that I fold them this way, it is just so much nicer. Um, and like I said, more compact. If you want me to, um, if you don't really know how to fold Kamari style or anything, um, you can obviously look up tutorials on YouTube of how to do it. Or if you want me to kind of slow down and show you guys how to fold like t-shirts and stuff Kamari style, then I would be glad to do that too. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes 
Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I want to mention as always that if anyone has any prayer requests then you can always leave those in the comments below or if you have a praise report I would love to read through that as well. I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down As I'm showing you the overviews of everything, I just wanted to mention that in the chest in our closet, um, the fourth drawer down is our swimsuits, and I do not even try to keep those organized, especially in the warmer months. Um, I just kind of throw them in there or like lay them in there um and i just kind of mix and match because i'm always mix and matching my tops and bottoms if i'm not wearing a one piece and then there's also scarves and hats and like stuff like that in there too so it's organized as in i know what's in that drawer but other than that it's it's just not folded and nice and neatly in there but I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, then don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you can join the Pendry Home family. We will be continuing the 12 days of cleaning and join us back tomorrow for another deep clean. We're gonna be doing the bedroom. I'm really excited again for our Proverbs 31 woman continuation. Uh, we will be talking about the fifth characteristic and I'm excited to give that to y'all. But until next time, bye y'all. Too rushed, so let's just take our time Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit